Hey yo, hey. Listen, this is um, this is your girl, but I'm not gonna say which her because I got upset today, this morning, and I left. I ran away from home. Can you believe that? I ran away from home. I said today was the heck with them children, that husband, that grandbaby, and everybody child because I'm feeling used. I don't know if I should feel used because I'm a mother. I signed up for this, right? But I'm feeling used. I woke up this morning, laundry room full with everybody clothes, which is typically what's supposed to happen now. Everybody knows that a Friday night, the boys, everybody slide their laundry basket into the laundry room and uh, me and my husband's clothes, I wash kind of later on. Like I wash hours through the week, just kind of not tight up Saturday. And then but this week was, this week was linen, because I do my boys linen. I change sheets um, once a week, but I wash every other weekend. They're heavy blankets and stuff. But anyways, I'm rambling off point. I went and I had, oh yeah, today is Veterans Day at Applebee's. So if you're a veteran, go to Applebee's, you get to eat for free. All right, and give a plug. So I went in, I woke up this morning and I was like, okay, I'm going to get myself situated and I'll get up. Okay, first of all, somebody drank my coffee that I had from yesterday from Dunkin'. I didn't drink it at work, so I brought it home. So I was going to go prepare my coffee. Okay, start my morning with my coffee. Somebody drank my coffee. That was one. All right. Went out to the porch, let the dogs out. Noticed that it was a gang of baskets and clothes. I'm like, where in the world all these clothes come from? Blankets just throw it everywhere. So I'm like, guys, listen, you didn't even have the courtesy to put your blankets down inside your laundry basket so that I can go to it and just go from laundry basket to laundry basket. Because, you know, since I'm bougie now, my husband got me a Samsung washer and dryer. It doesn't have the middle piece, so it's just an open um, washer. So it's a deep washer, so I'm able to kind of like, I'm not those parents to separate clothes. I don't, if you are, that's your business. I'm not. I'm, I wash, throw it all in the wash, put my gain in. After I get my gain, thank you. After I get my, this was the best drink I had last night. Oh my God, so I got another one. So I put my gain in, and after I put my gain in, I um, put my softener and everything else in. And and kind of glue a gains family and do everything else but I do it by the basket okay so I go in there again I backtrack again it's thrown everywhere blankets just throw it in there baskets just in there and I'm like oh my god what is going on here I'm like okay calm down LaDonna don't worry about it we'll get ready to sort through it and get everything worked out Go to the kitchen. The kitchen is a mess. Daddy he done got up with the boys and made waffles. So I knew I heard rambling going around in the kitchen, but I'm like, okay, well, and then I smelt the sweetness coming in through the room because our room is adjacent right off from the kitchen. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe they're cooking something. And then I smelt the bacon. I'm like, okay, they're throwing down in there. Um, I didn't get a plate. I didn't get a mama get up. Mommy, here's your breakfast in bed. I didn't get a mommy nothing. So they enjoyed their waffles and bacon and eggs. And including daddy. Now, mind you, not including daddy. And I got up and I came back through the kitchen. Because, mind you, now, when I walked through to go to the laundry room, it's a small house. I told y'all, very, I think it's maybe uh, 2,000 square feet, if that. So I walked through to go to the laundry room, saw that catastrophe, said, I'm not going to deal with this right now. Came back through to the kitchen and I saw the mess in the kitchen. So I'm like, hey, listen, this ain't going to happen like this. You all cook breakfast this morning. You didn't even have the decency, first of all, to come and ask me if I wanted anything to eat. Then this is what my husband said. Oh, well, baby, you don't normally eat waffles anyways because it's heavy with bread and you don't too much care for bread. I said, well, you could have gave me a fourth of a waffle and two pieces of bacon. Or even you could have just gave me the bacon and eggs. I said, but I didn't get anything. You didn't even save anything on top of the stove. Because sometimes if my husband is sleeping and he don't want to get up, I'll take his food and I'll put his food on top of the stove in the little container. So when he wake up, he'll have whatever's there. So he was like, oh, you just want to argue this morning. You just want to... I just want to argue. I just want to argue because I just got up out of bed. 
I saw the laundry room. It's a mess. I come through the kitchen. Y'all didn't even pile it up inside the bucket that I washed in a little white bucket in the sink and then I rinse and put over. You didn't even pile the dishes up in the bucket or pile them up neatly and wipe down the counter and the stove after you guys came here and made this big old mess and you want to say that I'm up arguing? I said, okay, you're right, honey. I'm not. This is not an argument. This is not a fight. This is not a battle. Because we said, myself said self. I said, yes, girl, what you got going on now? Because I felt we was doing something sneaky in my mind. Okay. So she said, girl, go take a shower and put on some clothes and take your food back to Applebee's because they messed it up again. And um, have lunch on you and with you. On you and with you. Okay. So I said, you know what, child? You is absolutely right. I am fixing to run away from home today. I got a couple errands to run. I am not going to be in any hurry to go back to nobody home. So I took me a good little shower. Look, my little straps is showing. But I got on me a nice little rumple with my little army shoes, child, and my hair looking cute, and my lips all glossed, and I'm out. I'm out in these Indian River streets until I feel like going home. Before I left, I told the boys, you have two options. You have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or you have noodles. That's your lunch. I'm done. I'm done for today. Today is Miss LaDonna Corbin Day. And I'm going to soak this day up to do everything that I want to do and just spend this day quietly with myself. So I'm starting out with Applebee's. Yes, that's what I'm starting out at. Mm -hmm. I'm, at I'm at the Good Apple. I'm getting ready to have lunch, put this energy inside of me. And then after that, who knows where I end up at. So I guess I'll come back and let y'all know where I end up at. Maybe a couple do, do a couple of shorts to show y'all where I'm at now. But yes, so mothers, I say all that to say this. We have to be stingy with us too. We are, we are caregivers, we are advocates, we are everything for everybody else, but we forget about us until we get angry and then we explode because we just needed some self-care time, okay? So I used to feel selfish doing this. I really, oh my God, I used to feel so bad to take a self-care day. I just felt like I was just abandoning my family, like... What if, okay, what if I'm not home? What if somebody get hurt? What if they don't know what to do? What if, I don't care. My oldest is 32, 20, 19, 17, 12, and 10. And my grandbaby is one. If they can't find a way and get it today, we just ain't gonna get it. Because today it's all about me and I'm absolutely being selfish with my day today. So, I feel good. Like Diana Ross or whoever said, I feel good all over. All right? So today is my day. I'm celebrating my day. And you all go and celebrate your day. Leave them chilling home. Leave that husband home. Just get out and do you. Okay? So you have an awesome Saturday because I am. I'm looking all cute and whatnot. Y'all see it. Y'all don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. I know. I tried to find my hair bra and I couldn't find it. So I'm kind of trying to hide the straps with this hair. But anyways, I'm cute, child. Don't worry about it. But, okay, best friends, y'all go and do y'all today, okay? All right. So you can be easy. You can be greasy. Whatever you do, just be you. All right? And go tell somebody that you love them. Because I'm telling you, I love you today. I love you this Saturday. I love you to death. I want to squeeze you to death, okay? But all right. I love you. All right? Have a good day. Later.